Bees and wasps are much more alike than you might think. Both are flying, stinging insects that are part of the same family. Both can be aggressive, especially when provoked, and both are pollinators. Spotting and knowing the difference between the two is important for getting control of these stinging pests. There are many different types of bees and wasps, but the most common bee types that you might encounter is the honeybee, the bumblebee, and the carpenter bee. Common wasp types are paper wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets. Looking at the wasp or bee's coloration will help, but one of the easiest ways to identify either a bee or wasp is to look at their bodies. At first glance, they can look similar, but a key distinction is the amount of fuzzy hair on their bodies. While wasps will have some hair, they're typically smooth and shiny. Bees are much fuzzier, especially the bumblebee. The reason for this is that even though they are both considered pollinators, bees rely solely on pollen and nectar, and their bodies make them much more efficient in collecting pollen. Adult wasps do feed on nectar, but they're predators and feed their larvae protein-based material like human food or other insects. You can also look at their body shape. Bees are typically more robust or fatter with thick legs, where wasps are sleek and have extremely narrow waists and skinnier legs. The wasp's body shape makes them efficient hunters. Because wasps hunt for protein, they're much more aggressive than bees, and they're the ones that you'll likely encounter when eating or picnicking outside. You can also identify the two by their nests. Honeybee nests are waxy and will have that distinctive honeycomb look and typically can be found in trees. Bumblebees actually nest in the ground while carpenter bees nest within wood. Wasp nests are made from a papery, pulpy material and are usually found hanging under house eaves, under and around patios and fixtures, or along windows. While each bee and wasp type will sting, wasps are more dangerous because they're aggressive by nature. They'll sting you multiple times and attack in groups. Honeybees will also attack in numbers, but they die after stinging their target. Keep in mind, this is actually a trait unique to honeybees. Other bees can and will sting you more than once. The good thing is, bumblebees and carpenter bees are much more mild-mannered. They won't swarm and they won't attack unless truly threatened. While bees and wasps are important to the ecosystem, it's important to know the difference between the two for effective control. And you can do that with professional products and equipment from Solutions Pest and Lawn. Be sure to visit our website to get your products today. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And as always, contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.